The opportunity to buy the rarest cars in the world is very rare. The more these cars age, the higher the price in most cases. The world is full of unique and beautiful cars from different automobile companies in the world. However, these cars are beautifully designed, representing the brand of the industries that build them. Some also possesses more quality engines than others, making some have more horsepower than others while others have more torque. Welcome back to our channel Drive Time, and today we're going to talk about Top 10 Rarest Cars in the World 2022. And before that, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do and keep the notification bell on a ring for the latest upload. Number 10. Jaguar XK120 Roadster Jaguar's XK120 was conceived as a show car to highlight Jaguar's new 3.4-liter dual overhead camshaft straight-six engine. At first, it was never intended for Sears production, but its reception at the London Motor Show held at Earl's Court in the fall of 1948 quickly convinced Jaguar otherwise. This sleek feline envelope body designed by Jaguar boss William Lyons set new standards of streamlined design and stood out from a generation of attractive but rectangular British sports car designs. First introduced as a roadster with handmade aluminum bodies, Jaguar quickly tooled up for production in steel to be followed in the summer of 1951 by the fixed head coupe. While the coupe was a popular elegant design, it's the XK120 Roadster that has remained the iconic image of the classic XK120 for most enthusiasts and collectors. A ground-up nut-and-bolt restoration with matching number engine block and cylinder head, it's finished in red with a tan leather interior and black cloth convertible top. Number 9. Aston Martin Valkyrie The car is a result of a collaboration between Aston Martin and the Formula 1 team Red Bull Racing. They equipped the car with a 6.5-liter V12 hybrid powertrain, lightweight carbon fiber chassis, and a 1 ratio 1 power to weight ratio. The Valkyrie is also designed to generate enormous downforce on the track. This model has been created under the watchful eye of Andy Palmer, the president of Aston Martin. It's in fact a renovated version of the old Aston Martin Red Bull AMRB001. Palmer has collaborated with Red Bull Racing's Aerodynamicists, Christian Horner, and Adrian Newey to produce the supercar. The vehicle is equipped with a Rimac built hybrid battery system and an engine that generates 1,000 horsepower. Aston Martin plans to make only 150 units of the Valkyrie, including 25 track versions and a few prototypes. Number 8. Maybach Accelero Accelero was actually commissioned by Fulda, the tire company part of the Goodyear Group. The firm wanted to test its new Carrot Accelero tire family and asked Daimler to build a prototype that can reach speeds in excess of 217 miles per hour, 350 kilometers per hour. The concept was based on the production of Maybach 57, and the final design was prepared by four students from the Transportation Design School of Forzheim University of Applied Sciences. Power was provided by a 5.9-liter twin-turbo V12 engine with three valves per cylinder. The Exedero had a set of 23-inch folded carat Exedero tires in size 315-25ZR23 for all four corners. Number 7. Ford GT40 Roadster Detroit's first purpose-built prototype class race car, developed to beat Ferrari, famously went on to win the 24 Hours of Le Mans for four consecutive years. While the GT40's dominating competition record is justifiably celebrated, scrutiny is perhaps less frequently given to the model's early development cars, which included a small batch of roadsters. The bulk of GT40 output consisted of a run of 87 production examples, whose serial numbers began with the P prefix. The rear roadster spec chassis was received at FAV from the builder Abbey Panels in October 1964 and construction commenced on 2nd November. By March 1965, the car was completed, equipped with a Cobra specification Ford 289 cubic inch engine mounted to a Colotti T37 transaxle and mounted with the very first roadster body, which featured new Len Bailey design cues such as a modified nose and a raised rear pillar intakes. Number 6. Porsche 550 Spider. The Porsche 550 Spyder is about as classic and iconic as it gets, even for the storied Porsche brand. The lightweight roadster came from the inspiration of the Porsche 356 but minus the hard roof. Porsche needed a race car to compete in the roadster class, and that's just what the 550 Spyder did. In fact, the third 550 prototype and first 550 to race won its first event at the famed Nuremberg Eiffel race in 1953. Winning wasn't the only thing the 550 Spyder was known for. It was his newfound love of racing that spurred actor James Dean to purchase an example. Nevertheless, the 550 Spider enjoyed a story career, with 90 examples being built. Of those 90 cars, 43 of them were built as non-race customer cars. Though Dean's and the blue example seen are within that allotment, in fact the chassis numbers are only separated by 5 digits. Number 5. Talbot Lago T150C SS The sporting Talbot Lago T150C chassis inspired the design of many open roadsters and closed cars, most notably a series of curvaceous custom coupes. Sensational in their heyday, the French-produced Talbot Lagos remain highly valued today, streamlined, sleek, and light enough to race competitively. 
They were called Gote de L, a dropper, and in English, they quickly became known as the teardrop tablets. Famed Parisian coach builders Joseph Figoni and Ovidio Falaschi patented the car's distinctive aerodynamic shape. Figoni and Falaschi built 12 New York style Talbot Lago Coupes between 1937 and 1939, so called because the first was introduced at the 1937 New York Auto Show at the Grand Central Palace. Five more cars built in a notchback teardrop style were named Jean Car after a wealthy French patron. Talbot's president, Antoni Lago offered a top-of-the-line SS Supersport version with independent front suspension. The competition engine, a 4-liter 6-cylinder topped with a Hemi head, could be fitted with three carburetors for 170 brake horsepower. Some cars were equipped with an innovative Wilson pre-selector gearbox with a fingertip actuated lever that permitted instant shift without the driver having to take his hand off the steering wheel. Number 4. Lamborghini Countach LP500S the Countach LP500S was introduced in 1982 in response to Ferrari's faster boxer, which had overtaken the LP400S Lamborghini needed to respond, so after an abortive attempt to fit a turbo to the 400's 4-liter V12 because of overheating problems, the engine was increased to 4.8 liters in conjunction with larger Weber carburetors, new combustion chambers, and revised cams. An LP500S road tested by motor in 1984 gave a taste of exactly what it would be like to own the most outrageous-looking car on four wheels. Motors testers achieved a 4.8 second run to 60 miles per hour, but the claimed top speed of 186 miles per hour proved elusive. As a road car, just starting the Countach is an event. After noisily priming the fuel pumps, the car fires instantly, like a small explosion, making nearby householders fear for their foundations. Over three years of production, 323 customers drove away a new LP500S, but the prototype 758 BHP version never made it to sale. Number 3. Ferrari 250 California SWB Spider It's a gorgeous car with desirable covered headlights. It's often described as the Ferrari's history most beautiful car. The car is the most expensive and the rarest car in the world. 19 of the car was made without the glass over the twin circular headlight. The sale of this car to the public only occurs three times in 18 years. Number 2. Pagani Huera BC Pagani Huera is a 6-liter, twin-turbocharged Mercedes AMG M158 V12 cool. The mid-engine sports car was produced by Pagani, an Italian sports car manufacturer. The vehicle is a new version of its antecedent Sonda and was named after Huera Tata, a Quechua wind god. The rear-wheel drive was built with a top-speed engine that accelerates at 0-97 km per hour in 2.8 seconds. Its door is a canopy type, opening completely from down to top. It also uses a 7-speed regular gearbox and a single disc clutch. It can change the height of the front from the ground, a unique quality possessed by the expensive luxury sports car. Number 1. Ferrari Pininfarina Sergio It's a trophy car and only six were ever made. It's essentially a redesigned version of the Ferrari 458 Spider with a new body and interior. It delivers 562 horsepower with its 4.5-liter V8 that sends the power to the rear wheels. To top it all, it weighs only 458 so it's quicker and better to handle. The aerodynamic headrests are built directly into the roll cage so the new body doesn't just save weight. Each owner of this Sergio was chosen by the automaker itself, thus making it one of the invite-only and rare vehicles in the history of automobiles. Let me know your opinion in the comment section below. Thanks for watching our videos from Drive Time. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to leave a like and share this with your runway enthusiast friends, or your family perhaps, and share with them your dream. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications bell for our new uploads.